Hi guys, let's take a look at the metronome and audio paste. So in other videos you've seen me record the first loop by selecting an empty track and then tapping rec. But we also wanted to give you a way to make a rock solid reference. So if you look in the new menu here, you can make a blank session which is what we've got at the moment, but you've also got the metronome to create a beat track or audio paste to copy in a track from another app. I'm going to take a look at the metronome first. It's really easy to use, you just tap out the rhythm that you want, adjust the tempo and then hit generate new. So if I want a rhythm in 5 with an accent on 1 and 4, this is what I do. Ok, so you might have noticed when I was on the tempo slider, I moved my finger vertically and then I got greater precision controlling the tempo. Once you hit generate new, this track behaves like any other track, so you can volume and pan it, and I quite like to pan it to the side so it's less intrusive when I'm recording the other tracks. But it really is like any other track and you can even load it into the beat repeat and mess around with it. Now let's take a look at the other option which is audio paste. So if we hop into Drum Jam, let's change this down to 4 beats and then record a loop. And export that using Audio Copy. Hop back into Loop Tree, Audio Paste, find our recording, and then it's loaded in. And again we can play around with that in the Beat Repeat. So that's two ways, the metronome and audio paste, to get a really rock solid first loop so that the timing of all your other loops is really accurate too. I hope you find those two tips helpful and keep an eye out for the other tutorial videos. Bye for now.